Are you currently residing in Estonia or you are planning to relocate to Estonia and you want to bring your family along to Estonia or you want to subsequently apply for your spouse to join you and you are wondering how can I go about it? You have come to the right place because in this detailed video, I will be guiding you as I walk you through the entire process, making it as clear and simple as possible. This guide is packed with valuable information that is based on real life experiences to help you to navigate the immigration process seamlessly. Now, the way I am going to approach this is by discussing the following topics one by one. The first video, which is going to be part of the video I am making today, is that I'm going to be introducing you to Estonian resident permits and the eligibility criteria. And in the next video, I will talk about the required documents that you need. Then, in another video, I will talk about the online application process. I can probably show you on a display how you are going to do the online application, all the processes that are involved, how you fill the form and everything. Then, in another video, I'm going to be talking about the application, submission, interview, and application fees that is required for you to apply for the resident permit for your spouse. And again, in another video, I'll be talking about the waiting period. How long do you have to wait? Then, first response from the person that is handling the application. What does it usually entail? Then, the timelines that it will take you before the decision is made and everything. And then, in the last video, I'll be talking about the decision and how to collect your resident card if your resident permit is actually approved. So these are all the topics that we're going to be treating in this series. So the first step that I'm going to talk about is the introduction to resident permits. So it is important for me to tell you the detailed information about this resident permit using the face of the law that actually establishes the issuance of resident permits. So the law that guides the issuance of resident permits in Estonia is called Aliens Act. The link to this act is being displayed on the screen and you can also find the link in the description of this video. So we'll begin by understanding the types of resident permits in Estonia and the specific one that we'll be focusing on, which is the application for spouse. The specific law that relates to the application and issuance of a resident permit in Estonia can be found in the Chapter 3 of the Aliens Act, which is titled Residence and Employment in Estonia in sub chapter 1 which is titled temporary resident permit and division 1 which is titled issue of a refusal to issue temporary resident permits and subdivision 1 which is titled issue of resident permits and this can be found between section 112 to section 121 so from section 112 to section 121 of the aliens act you are going to find all the necessary information that relates to the application and issuance of resident permit now because of our area of focus the specific law that address the temporary resident permit application for a spouse can be found specifically on section 
118 subsection 1 of the Estonian Aliens Act. So I've given the link in the description so you can check it out so that you can read everything. So I can't read it in this video otherwise I waste too much time. So I think that you can just Google type Estonian Aliens Act. Then it will give you, sometimes you can even get a PDF. So you can just throw to section 118, subsection 1. Then you found where the law actually talk about application, specifically application for spouse. So go and check it out. The second step is the eligibility criteria. Eligibility criteria for resident permits in Estonia for spouses may have evolved. However, based on the general requirements, eligibility for a spouse resident permit typically includes the following process or procedures. Or you might also say document or, I mean, the what makes you eligible to be able to apply for resident permits for your spouse so these are the list of what make you eligible to apply the first on my list is marriage or registered partnership so depending on countries some countries have law that the only way you can be legally binded to your spouse is by marriage but in a country like Estonia there is something they call registered partnership so it is also considered as a legal binding between spouses but I mean majority of African countries that are my major target country are uh, actually into marriage so there is really no uh, no legal binding uh, ceremony that is called registered partnership but in Estonia of course there is registered partnership so also so many parts of Europe there is something they call registered partnership so you don't need to get married before you are recognized under the law that you are legally binded with someone so you can also be registered partners so that is just the difference but I think that majorly in African countries it's all about marriage then the second thing i'm going to talk about is valid residence or right of the sponsor uh, in this case the sponsor is the spouse that is inviting the other spouse to come and join him or her in estonia so must have a valid resident permit or be an estonian citizen so it's either of the two. So the third on my list is financial stability of the sponsor. Remember I've explained the sponsor in the previous point. So you may need to demonstrate financial stability to support your spouse, ensuring that you can provide for their needs without relying on social assistance. So I think that is self-explanatory. It means that you must have a legal job that you are doing that you can use to prove that you can support your spouse financially or your family financially when they join you. That's just what that is all about. Now, the fourth thing I'm going to talk about is accommodation. So, it is a general requirement that you should have a suitable accommodation for both you and your partner meeting health and safety standards. So generally in Europe, there is health and safety standard for accommodation. If your wife or your family is relocating with you in Estonia, there are criteria, there are types of accommodation that you must have in order for you to invite your spouse. So for example, we have so many types of accommodation like studio apartment, uh, one room apartment, two room apartment, and so on and so forth. So, uh, if you have just your spouse coming to meet you, there is a specific type of accommodation you must have before you can invite them. 
then if your wife is coming with your child or your children there is a specific type of accommodation you must have before you can invite them another criteria which i believe is the fifth criteria is that your spouse must have health insurance so you must buy a comprehensive health insurance coverage for the spouse that is coming to meet you i mean usually it is advisable for you to buy one year health insurance because of the time and the period that it takes from your application to the time that your application is being granted so it is more advisable for you to buy at least one year health insurance for your spouse and the health insurance are standard so you need to go and read the link that i gave to you you need to go and read it very well so that you can know the type of insurance you can buy for your spouse that is going to be acceptable in estonia of course when i talk about the document that is needed i'm going to emphasize more on the actual type of insurance that you need to have for your spouse in order to get them to come and meet you in estonia then another thing i want to talk about is the application form and documentation like i have said there is no no country that you wanted to come uh, to apply for resident permits that you will not need to fill and submit an application from and then you must have some specific documentations as well that you are going to use in order to prove the fact that you and this person is married and everything so submission of the correct application form and necessary documents such as proof of marriage passports and other required paperwork must also be you know submitted and everything when you are applying for the resident permit please note that this criteria can change and it's crucial to refer to the latest information from the estonian police and border guard or the relevant immigration authorities always check the official government's website or consult with a legal professional for the most up-to-date accurate information tailored for your specific purpose so that is what i will say though from my own end you can drop comment or question in the comment section I'll be able to answer you because in most cases when I bring video or when I come to you guys to you know give you information I used to do research before I come to you but then I will not say that my research is absolute no one is perfect so but if you have any other question that you want to ask me as regards the application of a resident permit for your spouse you can drop it in the comment section I'm going to answer you as soon as possible. So, I have come to the end of the video for today. I'm going to continue this series next time. So, I hope this video has been informative and helpful for you. So, if you have any question, like I said earlier, or you need further assistance, please feel free to ask in the comment section below. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more helpful content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.